Hello everyone, there is a 99.6% chance that the Fed will pause rate hikes come their June meeting. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the repercussions. We're going to talk about the next steps for the market. CPI data obviously came out today as well. We're going to take a look at all of that stuff, put it all together. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate all of your support please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content so without further ado let's get started with the video all right so here we can see that cpi data the data came out less than the forecast expected so today came out at 4.9 percent the expected price um expected percentage was five percent so this came in better than expected which is good it means that obviously they're trying to show that the cpi is lowering so this is the 10th month in a row that cpi has decreased and because cpi decreased meaning inflation is getting better that's basically what it is had this number been higher than the forecast then that would mean that inflation is actually increasing and that would increase the chances of a fed hike because the point of the interest rate hikes that the fed is doing is to decrease inflation so the fact that inflation is going lower here right it is very good it's a it's a better chance that the fed will either pause hikes or stop or like cut back on um rate hikes which is why after the cpi data came out today um the probability of a rate hike for june um really really diminished so this is the the pause so the probability of a pause in rate hikes um is basically a hundred percent chance um the current rate is 500 to 525 so this basically shows that there is almost a hundred percent guarantee that the fed will pause rate hikes come their june meeting so that is all basically due to the cpi data that came out today so now what does that mean for the market so obviously that is a good sign that is bullish technically that cpi is lessening and the fed does not want to increase rate hikes instead they are pausing so because they are pausing when the fed pauses rate hikes or they cut back then the price of stocks should increase so technically you know when you when you look at it on paper it should be uh continuing to increase of the stock prices due to that news but since we're it's it could also already be baked in and um you know it's it's tough to immediately say because essentially on the day of cpi data as well there's it could be fake outs so this move upwards that we saw towards the end of the day uh from the lows could also be a fake out because obviously um we bounced very substantially so <laughs> so we can see that we clearly bounced very substantially all right and my thought process is sure you know this is the five minute chart of the spy all right sure we could end up up here right but this would just be a very very aggressive move to the upside but then eventually you know we have to fall back lower so there is a bit more room to the upside but you know just in general this is not a sustainable move to the upside in my opinion there needs to be some sort of a pullback and the biggest reason the biggest reasons for that is i was looking at the tech stocks so when you look let's just quickly take a look at the largest tech stocks um starting with the nasdaq we could start with the nasdaq so number one so the nasdaq is clearly in this rising wedge and we know that rising wedge patterns are extremely bearish patterns so generally rising wedges break down to the downside so currently right now right we can clearly see that the nasdaq is at a level of resistance from back here in february so it had multiple touches and we're here and we also had multiple touches on the bottom level of this rising wedge as well from march so here we are we're at this level of resistance keeping it very simple um i am bearish here specifically bearish on amd but currently you could clearly see that the nasdaq is at uh resistance what could end up happening since the spy could also shoot up another two or three points the nasdaq could easily break up a bit higher and then we would need to reconsider 
basically we would need to see if it could close above this uh trend line here so that trend line tomorrow is going to be around 326 through 27 if it could close above 326 through 27 that would be pretty bullish uh but then we would you know it's all just a matter of how much more room the tech stocks have to the upside and i don't think that now is the best time to start adding to longs. So the reason for that is when you take a look at Apple, um, you can see Apple is Apple doesn't look as bad. It looks strong, right? But Google, for example, very, very strong. This is not where you want to add to longs, in my opinion, right? Microsoft, clearly very strong, continuing to make new highs. Also, not exactly where you want to add to uh, add to longs. You basically want to wait for a pullback. So my thought process is looking at all of these tech stocks. It makes sense that there should be a bit of a pullback before we continue up. But we know for I 100% am not going to try to long here. I would rather go short. So we took a look at uh, we can also take a look at Amazon. Big move on Amazon. Are we going long here on Amazon? Probably not. Doesn't make sense to do that, right? So uh, we took a look at Microsoft, Apple, Google, Amazon now for the chips so the chips uh nvidia showing resistance uh showing weakness at this level of resistance and then specifically the reason why i went short uh, amd is because off of the lows we are up over 20 percent in six days so this is clearly a very very bullish move that just happened in amd this is also we can clearly see that um, we are very overextended to the upside on the Bollinger Bands. And it makes sense to play short to the downside. I, we got into June calls. So um, what could end up happening here is we could bounce a bit higher. The AMD could hit 99, maybe $100. And, um, you know, this would also coincide with the spy going up a bit higher as well but regardless just the nasdaq is at resistance the large tech stocks are showing a lot of strength so you don't want to go long into strength and amd and nvidia are not really showing that much strength technically amd is showing a big um you know indecision reversal candle this is technically a reversal candle here and we failed to close above levels of resistance this is a pretty bearish candle at a level of uh, resistance here and nvidia is failing to break above resistance as well so it makes sense to lean short um for swings for day trades if we end up um, if we end up opening uh green on the spy then sure we're going to day trade but regardless today we killed it anyway um you know Regardless of which direction the market is going up or down intraday, we automatically are always going to kill it. So, but my thought process overall is even if um, it doesn't work out, it's a really, really high quality trade setup. The tech stocks are overextended. Um, we can take a look at the IWM. The IWM is not showing that much strength either. Tech stocks are overextended as well. We got a big pump into the close due to just bouncing off of support. And again, you know, we've uh, taken a look at Microsoft multiple times. Um, uh, so on the five minute chart of the spy, right? Very similar to what we were looking at with Microsoft before. This could end up going a bit higher. This could turn into a rising wedge. And then from there it could fall. And that's basically if the spy ends up falling from a bit higher, our June puts on AMD will not have lost an incredible amount of value. Uh, we have a stop loss at 15% for the contracts. And uh, we're going to sell, obviously, if it breaks below 15% on the contracts. And then, you know, if we want to re-enter into short, uh, depending on where the SPY and the NASDAQ and the AMD are, we definitely are. But regardless, this is not something on the SPY that you want to really go long on either. It just makes sense that there should be a pullback either from here from these highs or if we get another leg up there should be a pullback um but yeah just take a look at the levels obviously 
we need to also take into consideration that the Nasdaq is very close to a level of resistance and 327 is going to be a very important level of resistance for tomorrow. So, um, yeah, just all eyes on this level for the Nasdaq. Just in general, the large tech stocks are showing way too much strength. It doesn't make sense to go long up here, in my opinion. So I hope um, this made sense. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And I will see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. Thank you so much.